Hey there, my lovely people of YouTube. Matt Marcotte here for another Matt's Moments. I'm up here in Northern Colorado Regional Airport, which sits in Loveland, Colorado. United Airlines has a service that's they're trying to feature attracting attention from the Northern Colorado areas to connect down through Denver International Airport to any place in the world, really. And what they're doing is they're providing this bus service that acts just like a plane in their eyes. So we're gonna go take a look, try the service out, but we're actually connecting through and headed to Las Vegas. At the time of filming, this airport allowed free parking. So the attraction also to this service, you would call it, is that it, it is an hour, hour and 15 minutes straight west that way to Estes Park and Rocky Mountain National Park, which a lot of airlines are aiming to always be near national parks to provide that service, attract the attention for the hikers and explorers and adventurers. So that's another reason why I think United is testing this. They also do this bus service to Breckenridge and it has its own airport code. When you check in, you'll see three letter code. Also, you'll get your points, however, your advantage miles are not advantage miles united miles excuse me wrong airline and so it's just like any other connecting aircraft upon walking in you see this immediately how fitting for them going to vegas the check-in desk is very minimal there's even a rental car facility and if you're hungry they have these amazing snack machines for you with this service you will not need security at least not right here an airport like this can be very enticing to people that want to avoid Denver International Airport. Easy in, easy out, and then back to your home life. This probably is the easiest baggage claim ever too. All that being said, this perk is more enticed on keeping people from having to drive to Denver International Airport and paying for parking for days. I was kind of surprised there were a few passengers that got off here, so, so far the service seems good. And if you're bored and waiting, just come outside. You can take your mask off. However, I'm about to board. So, mask back on. Treat it like any other airplane. First impressions is a 2-1 seating. And yes, they're numbered like an airplane. Had a good size trade table if you need to eat or get some work done. Kind of flimsy, but it did the trick. They also had Wi-Fi on this bus, and it was pretty fast considering it's a bus lights but no vents and a plug to plug in row one had no tray table so be mindful of that and every seat comes with a shoulder strap seat belt today's journey will take us straight south on the i-25 until you catch the 470 tollway east to denver international airport So not entirely what I expected. So when you take that from Loveland Fort Collins Airport, you get dropped off like curbside check-in and still go through security, which makes sense because I didn't go through security at that little airport. So I was wondering when you would do it. Remember, TSA pre-check, it's on the north side of the airport, opposite of the hotel. Would you look at that? No line. Make sure you have a good connection time. Plenty of time now. Let's go eat. Look at that. Shake Shack for the win. For once I chose Shake Shack instead of Chick-fil-A, Cadoba, and many other selections. Thank you. Thank you. Make sure you board early. Hey, welcome. Thank you. How you doing? Not bad, thanks. Thank you. 
out low and tight across your lap. This Boeing 737 is equipped with four exit doors. To get started, you can use your headset or ask a flight attendant for a complimentary headset after takeoff. Thank you for joining me on this journey. If you liked it, subscribe if you're not already. I'm Matt Marcotte. Share with your friends and family. Give it a like. See you in the next one. And welcome to Las Vegas. Ready to see what I'm here for? This. 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 And this. Definitely not this.